Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are a current subscriber already, thank you for coming back and checking out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. So today is Wednesday, so we are running into Walmart to do a few I bought a bought a deals. Um, we have quite a few in mind to pick up, but it really just depends on what happens when we get in there, if things are in stock. So fingers crossed everything is in there and we are going to try to do this in like 30 minutes or less because I feel like every time I go to Walmart, I'm in there super long because I get distracted from what I'm actually in there doing, which is why my husband does not like me going to Walmart or to Target, but we're going to try to do this in 30 minutes. So let's go inside and grab some deals. All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to pick up is going to be these Listerine flossers. So they're $1.79, and there's only two left. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up both of them. And then I bought it. It's going to give us back $2 each, so it's going to be completely free. All right, so the next thing we're going to pick up is going to be the Dove 3 Bar Bar Soap. So it's priced at $3.47 in my store. I'm going to use this 75-cent printable coupon that I got in my email from Unilever. Then we're going to submit our receipt to Ibotta, get a dollar back. And then between Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks, Shop Kicks is going to give us back about 78 cents. So our final out-of-pocket cost for a three-pack is going to be 94 cents. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to pick up is going to be the Pawns again. So they restocked on the smaller ones, so I'm pretty excited about that. So they are $4.97, a smaller jar. I'm going to use this dollar off one printable coupon, again, that I got from Unilever in my email. So we're going to pay $3.97 in store. We're going to submit our receipt to Ibotta and get back $2. And then between Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks, Shop Kicks is going to give us back $1.06. So it's going to make this jar just $0.91. Cents. So the St. Ives, the facial scrub... Um, it is priced at $3.64. So the one that I scanned specifically is the acne control. That one does qualify back for the dollar rebate. I scanned the fresh skin and that doesn't qualify. So I'm going to go ahead and use the $2 Peely that I see in some of the products. So we're going to pay $1.64 in store, but then get back a dollar on our bottom, making it just $0.64. I'm pretty excited that this rebate came back. So we're going to go ahead and pick up one of the beef cubes. We're going to pick up the larger box price at $1.38. And then we're going to submit our receipt to Ibotta. Ibotta is going to give us back $0.50, cents, making the larger one just $0.88. Cents. So these were definitely a big hit for my children when I picked this up last time. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up three. One of the Tiger Paws, one of the Apple Jacks, and then one of the Pops because they all have separate rebates. They are $4.98 each. So that's going to total us $14.94. There are dollar peelies on some of them and then I have my own. And then on coupons.com, there are also dollar printable coupons. <clears throat> so you can also print those out as well. So... We're gonna use three of the dollar off one peelies or printables. Then we're gonna submit our receipt to Shopkick in between Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks. Shopkick is gonna give us back $1.54. And then we're gonna submit our receipt to Ibotta. Ibotta is giving back $2 on each box. So that's gonna total us $6. And when you buy two or more, you get a dollar rebate. They ha I think they have to be different ones, so you'll get an additional dollar back. So it's gonna make it $3.40 for all three. All right, you guys, so I finally found this, the Welch's Sparkling Juice. I couldn't find it to save my life, but I finally did. So it's priced at $2.98 in my store. No about a rebate that I saw, but there is a Shopkick rebate. So between Scan Kicks and Buy Kicks, Shopkick is going to give back $2.60. So it's going to make this less than $0.50 cents for this bottle of juice. Alright guys, so we are right at self-checkout, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I use Pay With I Bought at self-checkout. So, I have my husband's phone, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on his. So, this is his Ibotta. So, we're going to go to gift cards. Then I'm going to filter it. Um, Z to A, Walmart. So, you have to do a minimum of $10, so I normally break up my transactions. So, my total right now was $10.69. So I'm going to type in 10.69. And then you're going to hit review. 
and then it's gonna bring up the gift card amount and then the payment method so I'm gonna pause you guys so I can click the payment method so once you decide on the payment method that you're gonna do you're gonna go ahead and hit buy gift card down at the bottom then it's gonna start doing this it's gonna start loading securely charging your card and then there's the card right there so I'm getting ready to use this entire gift card so that's why I'm showing you guys so if you guys try to use it now it's not gonna work so then you just come over here you hit Walmart gift card and then it'll pop this up then I use this then I scan it and then it goes through it no problem and then the receipt pops out and then right here you can do update balance so in case you didn't use it all you can put the amount spent the remaining balance and I always use it all so I mark as spent and then you hit done all right guys so we are at public so the first thing we're going to pick up here is going to be one of these gatorade protein bars so they are three for five which makes them about a dollar 60 each and then i bought is going to give us back a dollar 59. all right you guys so i had to come to a completely different Publix to get this because the other store that I normally go to is out of it and I'm definitely gonna go ahead and pick this up now so the Gatorade is two for 12 look in your Publix app to see if you have the buy one get one free coupon that's gonna take off six dollars you're gonna pay six dollars for two and then submit your receipt to Ibotta and get six dollars back three dollars for each that's gonna make it completely free the Athenos crumbled feta cheese is still buy one get one free Today is a Wednesday, so my sale normally ends um, on Wednesday today, would be the last day. But I think that they're extending the sale an extra day since Publix is going to be closed um, on Christmas. So I think that's what they're doing. I'm not sure. Do not quote me. Ask your store exactly what they're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up two of these for $3.19. No coupons, but then we're going to submit to Ibotta for $2 back. A dollar for each is going to make it $1.19 for two. So we have a freebie for the Simply Almond Milk. So it's priced at $3.99 and I bought it's gonna give us back $3.99, making it completely free. And not related, but do you guys see what I see? So there is a hang tag on the Silk Oya oh yeah for $3 off and they're only $3.99, so it'd make it just 99 cents. So I'm definitely gonna grab two and keep it just for a rainy day. I would suggest that you at least grab one or two. There's no harm in grabbing them. You're not opening the product and doing anything like that. And a lot of times the peelies and hang tags will remain on products and then expire and still stay on the products. So my store doesn't have a problem with it. I do it all the time. So it's really just your prerogative. There's nothing wrong with it. But again, just look out for those hang tags on the products. I've never seen that before. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. So the Scotty's tissue is resetting for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up again. So they are two for $3. I'm gonna pick up four for $6. So there are two different rebates that are popping up for the triple soft, not the everyday comfort, specifically for the triple soft. So it has to say triple soft on there. So the two rebates that it's picking up for is when you buy four, you get a 50 cent rebate. And then the other one is 50 cent on each one. So you would pick up four for $6, you're gonna get back $2.50 for this. And then there's also a bonus where you redeem, I believe it's three times that you have to do it um, in separate transactions and then you get a bonus. So it turns out to be a really great deal. Here are some more coupons on products. This is for the Blue Bell ice cream. It's a dollar off. I don't ever buy this. Um, I don't need to buy this large of a tub, but if this is a product that you use, definitely look out for these coupons in there. All right, guys, so we are back from Walmart and to Publix, and this is everything that we picked up. You're gonna see some doubles when I explain what I picked up, because I did a few on my account, and then the rest on my husband's, because some deals were just really good, and I wanted to pick it up on my account as well. So we have quite a few receipts to go over, nothing too crazy, because I really didn't use that many coupons, and then we will go over final numbers afterwards. So here's one transaction I did. I picked up the sliders. So I didn't I don't think I showed you guys in the store, but they are three for ten dollars. So They're just what I think what they normally are is three for ten. And then there is a PDF coupon for two dollars off. Um 
either the burgers or any plant protein item and this is a plant protein item it literally says it on the packaging so i was okay to use it it's a pdf therefore you can print out as many as you would like there i don't think there's a limit on the coupons so you go by your store limit which is eight like coupons in a shopping trip so i went ahead i picked up three for ten dollars used three of the two dollar coupons paid four dollars submitted my receipt to ibotta and they are giving back a dollar fifty with i believe it's a limit of five so i got back four dollars and fifty cents so all three of these were free in a 50 cent money maker so in this transaction, I just did the simply, I did one of the almond milk by itself for $3.99 because I wanted to do this one on my account. So you pay $3.99 and then I got back the full $3.99 on Ibotta. So this was completely free. Here's the next transaction at Publix that I did. So I picked up the, um, the protein bar, the Gatorade protein bar for $1.67. Then I picked up the two Gatorade um, Super Shakes two for twelve dollars or six dollars each then i also picked up a bolt drink for a dollar 49 i forgot to show you guys that in store but i went ahead and picked that up and it's right over there i only picked up one because i didn't have any more of the buy one get one free um blinkies and i couldn't find any more and i went to two different publixes and they didn't have any more left in the machine so i just picked up one and then i picked up um the four scotties for a dollar fifty each or two for three dollars and then again i picked up the vanilla almond milk in this transaction for me to scan this receipt to my husband's i bought him and then the only coupon i used in this transaction was the six dollar digital which is the buy one get one free um digital coupon for the gatorade shake so my subtotal was nineteen dollars and fifteen cents i got back $1.59 for the Gatorade uh, protein bar. I got back $6 for the Gatorade shakes. I got back $2.50 for the Scotties, $1.49 for the Bolt, and then $3.99 for the almond milk. So this is another transaction I did that I, I did at Publix and this um, I did this one on my account. So I picked up the feta cheese. So the reason why you see voided item and stuff on there is because at first um, when I picked it up, they literally had the larger ounce one next to the smaller one and the sign was literally in, like next to each other, like right in front of the product. And for the ounces, it's not wide showing that there's a difference it's how deep the container is so when you're looking at it when you're just picking it up they all look at the same so when I went up there I was like whoa that's supposed to be buy one get one free and definitely not 539 so then they voided it off and then I ran back and grabbed um, the smaller ounce which was the buy one get one free at 319 so that's why you guys see the two at the top at 539 and then down at the bottom, you see that it got voided off. So I had to pick up the correct one, which was 319 and check the ouncing, which um, it's the four ounce. And then I picked up a different flavor of the Gatorade protein bar. And then I picked up these Scotties on this transaction again as well. And I my subtotal was $10.86. <clears throat> I got back $2 for the feta cheese. Then I got back $2.50 for the Scotties. And then I got back $1.59 for the Gatorade. So here is one of my transactions for Walmart. So I went ahead and split my transaction up into two. So in this transaction, I picked up the St. Ives Facial Scrub for $3.64. Use that $2 Peely that I found on the product. There are the, um, the $4.98 for the um, cereal pops. Um, and then the dollar off coupons came off perfectly fine. And what else did I do in this transaction? I did the beef cubes in this transaction for $1.38. And then I did the juice for $2.98. So... My subtotal was $17.94. I got back from Ibotta. I got back a dollar for the St. Ives. I got back $6 for the cereal. And then I got back 50 cents for the beef cubes. And then from Swag Bucks, I got like $2.49 back for the juice. 
this was the last transaction that I did at Walmart. So in this one, I just did the Listerine floss picks. I did the ponds for $4.97. So the Peely that I found, you can actually use it on the ponds and the St. Ives. So I went ahead and used the $2 Peely. I grabbed another one, used it on the ponds. Um, the Peely is for ponds, Noxima, and for St. Ives. So I went ahead and used that. And then there is my Dove uh bar soap for 347 so i don't know what it is about the dove printable coupons but those always give me issues at um checkout they won't scan so she one of the ladies that was over there by self-checkout tried to tell me that they couldn't put it in and then i was like well do you mind just asking someone else because i was just in here yesterday and you guys were able to put it in without a problem so she went over she grabbed um somebody else that worked there and they were like oh yeah you can just put it in as a vendor coupon and i was like okay thank you so she just went ahead and put it in as um a vendor coupon and manually put in the coupon so if your walmart is not um like friendly towards couponers and is like super super strict on stuff like that then they may or may not accept it i don't know but for mine um i knew that um they would manually put it in for me because i literally just did this yesterday so i was just like do you mind just asking somebody else to verify because some people just don't know some people are new so i just wanted her to ask somebody else to verify and she was able to put it in manually so my subtotal was nine dollars and 63 cents i got back four dollars from i bought her for the listerine floss picks i got back two dollars for the ponds and then i got back a dollar for the dove and then i submitted my receipt to shop kicks <clears throat> and I got back money for the ponds and money for the Dove bar soap as well. All right guys, so it's getting darker, so I was able to turn on the lights so you guys can see the light vibe we got going on in the back for my little winter wonderland corner at the front door. So that's what we got going on, and then there's the string of pink lights down there that I was talking about. So I'm gonna go over the final number super, super quick so I can go ahead and update this for you guys and um, post it. So. Everything here after coupon totaled $65.57, which I think is crazy. Um, so after I bought it, we got back $47.85, and that includes the dollar bonus we got back for the cereal, the dollar bonus we got back for the Gatorade as well, who are picking up two different products, the protein bar and then the shakes. And then from Shopkicks, we got back a total of $5.98. And I also finished the hike bonus on my husband's account, so I got back $5 as well. So the final total for everything here is $1.74, which I think is pretty awesome. So even if you um, finish out your hike bonus, your total would just be $6.74 um, if you weren't getting back a $5 bonus, but I did finish it on his account, so I got back $5 for that, making it $1.74. So I thought this was a really great transaction for me. Um, and I was able to get some more of the protein shakes for my mom. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for all the Publixes around me to restock in that because I do have um, other Publix accounts that I use that have that digital coupon and that is an easy freebie and my mom likes to put these in her um, in her coffee when she goes to work. If I can't find deals on Atkins, this is what I started getting her and she hasn't complained yet. So fingers crossed she actually likes it. If not, she's just drinking it to be nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.